What's the crack? My name's Rob. I'm from The Quarry Productions. I'm here with Kristen from Conquer Divide. Hi. Hello. <laughs> How are you? Good. I <laughs> very quickly wanted to briefly indulge my fanboyness a little bit. I started listening to the band probably around 2016-ish, something like that. Okay. I actually ended up seeing uh, the band in like a Joey Sturgis video. Like there was a, for uh, one of his plugins, one of his plugins yeah. he was uh, promoting, he had uh, Kia and Janelle in, and I thought it was great. And he just came up with like an amazing album. It was so good. And then poof. And it was yeah. like, it, it wasn't like these were gone. I don't think it was gone. Really. I don't know. Like, cause I was still listening we, to it. We were on a bit of a hiatus. Yeah, a little bit. But by the time he's kind of came back, it was like kind of like rejuvenation almost where it was like, even though I was still listening to the band, it was like, oh, wow, that's kind of like just like a reminder. But when he's came back, it sounded like nearly a new band to me. <laughs> like, as like you, you still yeah. had like that metalcore, but like the polish and the production and everything, it was just totally different. And the first thing that I was curious about is what you think the biggest difference maybe from your personal experience what you think the biggest difference is between you now and back when the band started in a musical sense um i would say time for sure because the first record was written probably 2012 2013 so our tastes were just vastly different back then like i don't know we we looked up to as I Lay Dying, Parkway Drive, like, I don't know, whatever was like hot at that time. And then I, so many years went on before we wrote this record. So it's just, there's, I don't know, a million different influences that we have now that we're picking up on and incorporating into the music. And then on top of that, um, we're still working with Joey, obviously, but he obviously started uh, Nail the Mix, URM, he's a co-founder. and. And so he's gotten exponentially better at mixing and mastering and, you know, just working with different producers from around the world, picking up little things here and there from each one. Oh, yeah. And so I, I think you can hear that in our new mixes. Yeah. Um, so it's just kind of a, a culmination of all of that, like, just... I don't know, time, I guess. It's, it's cool. <laughs> we've, we've gotten older. We're not, like, in the... I don't know what we used to be into 10 years ago so you're not just, little emos it, anymore you're like yeah. the emos that grew up <laughs> the emos that grew up exactly yeah. it's cool that you mentioned like all like the the influences and stuff because that's something mm -hmm. i wondered um after watching the youtube the youtuber videos that you guys did where it was like everyone had like such different taste and i wondered like it, is the sound they use have like kind of the the middle ground or is there like lots of middle ground stuff that people wouldn't even expect yeah i would say so because um like izzy and i are obviously into metalcore um our our old drummer and our current drummer i think they're more into uh death metal and black metal and then our <laughs> our vocalist kia she's more into hip-hop and yeah. so and like pop music so yeah it all kind of culminates together into whatever yeah I whatever thought it was crazy. I was watching like <laughs> it was all the YouTube videos and I'd hear Kia talking about like Paramore and like online yeah. people compared to like Demi Lovato and then I heard Sam's other band and I was like this doesn't I know this none doesn't of this makes like, sense. <laughs> I was wondering where where does this even come from I know <laughs> it's such a myth but it works it's, yeah it works yeah <laughs> and then crazy. uh Obviously, you were mentioning like it was just like such a length of time between recording the the yeah. last album and then going back into the studio. Now, was there any like intentional going out of your way to be a little bit different, or was it literally just like, oh, I wrote this song or I wrote this riff and I just like it? I mean, yeah, I think that's part of it. Like, like I said, our tastes have changed. Um, we've we've grown up a little bit. I think you can hear that, and then. I mean, yeah, like, obviously you want to stay current with what's out there. So sure. that's kind of always in the back of your mind. It's not necessarily something uh, I focus on, but, <clears throat> you know, it definitely <laughs> is back there. A little voice on in the back of your head, like, oh, you got to keep up with 
what's going on right now. So sure. I don't know, but yeah, I, I would say it's more attributed to just growing up. <laughs> Is that a big theme in, in whatever you're writing now? Just like growing up, growing things? <laughs> That sounds like it could be so... All I see on, like, TikTok is, like, my For You page is just people telling me yeah. how old I'm going to be soon. And, and I'm just... Like, that's not something I'm mentally prepared for. I know. I feel that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm the oldest one in the band, so... The, the other girls are quite a bit younger than I am, so... Oh, okay. I don't know. I didn't actually... Yeah. I never would have thought, known that, yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> so you're just the experienced ones. You're making sure they don't, they don't mess up and make super bad mistakes. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're still kind of slightly a bit more emo, not grown up yet. A mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. bit. <laughs> Are you... I didn't realize this uh, was the case until I was looking at um, other interviews that had come out, mm -hmm. like around the time Chemicals came out and all that other th kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I was looking through all the interviews I could find and I didn't realize that when Chemicals came out, you were independent. And I wondered if yeah. you were still independent. Currently, we are. Um, I mean, we do have management, um, but as far as a label, yeah, we're still independent. Um, we were with Artery for our first album, obviously, and then they sold to Warner. And unfortunately, Warner gutted the label. Yeah. Um, which is something pretty common for major labels. They buy up smaller labels and then it's they just get rid of the competition they, that kind of thing well they they want to own the catalog yeah so that way they have more bargaining power with sure. spotify or with other companies like that and so they're not necessarily concerned about the staff or the artists yeah. on the label and so, so it's a big corporate thing yeah 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 but it's is, happened to a lot of small labels so is there a lot more like hands-on work with that like being independent like is there a lot more like oh, oh yeah this person yeah. happens to be good with like videography like get them and like a lot more just kind of scrounging yeah, together resources much had to, to hire our own people to create like a mini label to yeah. do these releases independently but even still um i still feel like we we probably need to partner with a label at some point to, sure to get to where we need to because it's just too much for yeah for one band i can only um, imagine what like the extra like hands-on stuff is that you'd have to like if you had to handle your own marketing yeah. and well that's oh, what we did for, thinking about it. <laughs> for chemicals and, and messy we, i i did all the marketing for it myself um, it did really good <laughs> it was I good hired, i hired my own pr and i did all the advertising for it uh, yeah. myself because i run a small marketing agency um but it's it's a lot and yeah. so i don't know that i'd want to do it forever i can only imagine it's it's and especially if you're doing it for one track and one single, mm -hmm. is that almost like like too much work because it's for one song? Or is it just like, okay, no, it means we get to put everything we have into the one song. Like is, yeah. what, is there a preference the, the, with that? I would say the latter. I like it. I, I honestly prefer releasing singles because then we can put as much energy as possible into each one mm -hmm. and give, give it the attention it deserves rather than just blowing your whole load and dropping yeah. the whole album and not having enough money to market each song. I mean, I probably spent easily $10,000 on marketing for chemicals alone, you know. It's a lot of Facebook just, ads. Just to, to give you an idea, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's, I, I can't remember when I heard this. I was like interested in marketing music and stuff like when I was in college. Yeah. And, uh, I can't remember who it was. There was someone that I found and they said doing singles, even from a marketing perspective, is like so like it's old school rap and hip hop, like just single after mm -hmm. single after single. And then when I was getting super into it, it was one of those things where I think I, I mentioned it to one of my professors and he said, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Beyonce like recorded an album just before she gave birth so then she had an entire <laughs> year's worth of singles yeah. coming out while she just spent time with her baby like you know just to... well content is king yeah. yeah so it's i think it's better to to have a steady release of singles sure. over an album but i think the, the album model is kind of antiquated to be honest mm. um but unless you're doing like a collector's thing where like you're releasing a whole <laughs> box set of stuff but that's like that's that sounds so expensive to yeah. do like custom box sets and like oh a special vinyl t-shirt and all this like extra that sounds so like 
out of range for so many people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but even with content, whose whose idea was the YouTuber YouTube videos? <laughs> I think we always wanted to do um, at least like the mean tweets video. We had talked about it for a couple <laughs> of years. And so we started with that one and then it just kind of snowballed into all the other videos. <laughs> People just kind of said, oh, why don't we do this? They liked and then... it. So we just kept adding on and we have more coming. I just, it, it's a lot to handle, to be honest. Like there's so much going on right now that it's hard for me to even focus on uh, our YouTube channel at the moment, but we do have more videos coming out. Nice. And it's like the whole gang all together? No, not... We we just do what we can. Yeah. If, if only one of our two, two of us fly in to Michigan, I'll just, sure. you know... Do a That's video. still something. Wh whoever's here. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't all live in the same place, so... Is it... How, do any of you live in the same... I feel uh, like this so was in another interview, and it's in the back of my head. <laughs> currently, just me and Izzy. We live in yeah. um, Michigan. Izzy moved from Liverpool to here, um, and she's been here about four years. But uh, Kia lives in Colorado, and wow. Janelle lives in Texas, and then um, Sam is up in Montreal. So Yeah, I, I don't know geography too good. <laughs> Those sound like literal opposite ends of the country. <laughs> Basically, yeah. it would be it would be like your bandmate living in Italy and yeah. uh, your other bandmate living in the Ukraine. Oh <laughs> That's God. about how far. Like, <laughs> it's, it's actually I, it, even just managing that. The fact that the band has been able to like I remember years ago trying to find like on on like I'll call it old school YouTube. It's not really old school YouTube, mm -hmm. but it's like 2015, 2016, 2017 trying to find like live videos of like the band and stuff but it's crazy yeah. to think like oh that's like i could probably find like 15 or 20 videos and then years later it's like they're not even in the same like thousand mile radius of each other yeah <laughs> it's pretty nuts yeah we, um we all fly in to michigan and practice for a good month before we go on tour typically and that's all it's really all we get <laughs> it's but that kind of sounds cool as well you know like because if yeah. you if you have like tons of friends who like live in other countries and far away mm -hmm. from you and stuff it's really like when you see them it's such an event even if you yeah. wouldn't like party normally or you're not like the type of person to go crazy when you see someone you know you're only going to see them for like the next like x amount of time i bet that's like just a great vibe when you all yeah. get to actually oh, be it together is. it is yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> I don't know if you've been in our Facebook group at all. The I, I've Vibe gone fan. off Facebook recently. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. just recently. But we, it's, we have a yeah. little group where we've been posting like studio updates in there, like videos, and you, you can just see the vibes of <laughs> well, I think how now much I'll fun, have fun to... we have when we're together. Yeah, yeah, I think now I have to go back on Facebook just to <laughs> check it out. I did see on Instagram on instagram yeah it was on instagram that there there has been like the studio recording mm -hmm. two weeks ago three weeks ago or something yep yeah we just finished can you talk about that yeah yeah it's i'm really stoked <laughs> to release the rest of this record yeah it's it's pretty awesome we've got a good range of of uh like kind of radio rock songs but also uh metalcore songs we've got one song that's probably the heaviest song we've ever released um it's it's i don't know i'm i'm stoked <laughs> a lot sure. of catchy choruses <laughs> but that's but that's like the i really can say cool, that confidently <laughs> yeah that's the really cool like metal core like there's a little bit of nostalgia in there but even just based on like the last couple of songs that like that clean like just yeah. <laughs> that chorus that with the catches and the hooks it's just like that mixed with like heavy metalcore riffs just get me it's so yeah. good it's so good <laughs> thank you <laughs> well we well, got a lot more where that came from good I, did <laughs> did you record like another single or was it like you recorded a couple of things we've got 11 songs total done plus, two, yeah done plus recorded two, six songs yeah. <laughs> We, we knocked what? that out in two, in two weeks. Bro, it takes me like two years to record one song. Was, we were pulling like 16 hour days, 14, 16 hour days to get it oh all done. Oh my God. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. That's but, insane. 
I'm and excited. We're just waiting on the the mixing and mastering. Oh, it's gonna be good. That's gonna be great. <laughs> and are you still handling like all like when you talked about like doing the marketing for chemicals and all that mm-hmm. other stuff? Are you handling like the illustrations or like album artwork or anything yeah, like so that we, coming up? We work with the same um, the same artist that did our very first. Uh, artwork on our oh, first cool. album so he he's no longer with artery obviously because they're yeah. no longer label but we kept working with him and and we've got a couple other people that you know we stuck with from the first record so yeah it's you just kind of sunk yeah. the claws in it was like you're one of the good ones and yeah. stick with me <laughs> that's great exactly i'm super excited for that um yeah obviously and that's coming soon I hope so. Um, <laughs> they're they're supposed to start mixing it the middle of next month. Okay, um, and so we're hoping it'll be done and out by spring. Deadly, because it <laughs> it takes a long time, and I'm like psycho when it comes to mixes. Like I think we went through like forty iterations of chemicals by itself, um, no, and that I... was just that was just me. And then once I approve it, then Joey starts going. Yeah. Like, no, fix this, 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 this. I can only and then imagine. It goes the ear <laughs> so our, fatigue. our core mixing engineers, like I don't know, probably pulling his hair out. Doing no, it, it, I mean this stuff happens because yeah. I mean obviously if you have a certain standard for it, but I can't imagine listening to. Obviously, it took place over a period of time. But I'm literally imagining 40 of the same tracks with like <laughs> minuscule differences. And it's like, what do you think? Please you know, say you like it. At some point, I think the rest of my band was like, we can't tell a difference anymore. Yeah. Maybe after like mix 15, they're like, okay, like it sounds great. Like, it sounds, <laughs> it like sounds great. Us. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're in the corner saying it's the yeah. worst version yet. Please fix it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, that sounds great. Yeah. I'm super we, excited. We went through a couple of mastering engineers and didn't. I don't know. Yeah. So I guess, but you you got to set your own <laughs> deadline then, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's so great. That's I know, like a, a, a label would probably be, you know, not maybe easier, harder. I don't know. I don't. I've never experienced no, they, it. They set deadlines for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me and i really appreciate you for taking the time out i know that oh, you're super busy working and also all this other sooner. stuff it's great there's just so much going on it's it, i can only imagine how busy it is but i really do genuinely appreciate it and thank you so much to Kristen for joining on the channel you're welcome thanks for having me sick <laughs> so that was Kristen, guitarist from concord divide and it was absolutely amazing to be chatting with her pick her brain a little bit uh, about music and I really enjoyed the opportunity to have that little one-on-one and share it with all of you as well who are fans of the band as much as I am. If something else does come up that uh, intrigues me and surprises me and excites me and motivates me then I will probably make another video about that. So if you enjoyed this video um, you can feel free to subscribe, like the video, comment, talk about what you might like to hear from the band next, talk about who else you might want to see me interview, or maybe another video idea that I never got around to doing will pop up at some point or another. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.